I'm Natalie Abrams, senior writer at Entertainment Weekly, and I don't know about you, but I'm dying to talk to these casts and the EPs about this crossover event. Stephen Amell, Grant Gustin, Emily Bett Rickards, David Ramsey, Danielle Panabaker, Carlos Valdez, executive producer Andrew Kreisberg, executive producer Greg Berlanti, and executive producer Mark Guggenheim. One of the most rewarding parts for me is to see the actors just literally cross over to these, these separate shows and how much they hold the screen in, a show, in the other show and it just it shows how lucky we are to have such amazing actors on these shows and, and what superstars they are. Because they, they literally can go to another show. First of all, if you guys can see the behind the scenes stuff, it's amazing that me and Steven even get a word out. Because we're always just clowns, just complete and total clowns. And, and then to bring the three of them onto the set, it was just a lot of fun. I had binge watched Arrow before I was actually even a part of The Flash, so I knew these faces in some capacity, and then I actually got to like work with them, and I was like, oh, this is dope, you're this one. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really awesome. The scene where David, and, where David sees Grant as The Flash for the first time, you could build an entire blooper reel of outtakes <laughs> from that scene. If you watch it again, you'll see me bite my lip a bunch because that's the only way that I could get through it. I swear to God, it was unbelievable. The, fir the first take actually got ruined because the first time you did that thing with the fries, literally the entire crew burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually my very favorite moment from all of the crossover stuff is the first time David sees Barry arrive in his suit with the powers. I mean, we had a, a lot of fun that night. It, really, it was. We were just sipping and it was like, and take five. It was just, we just clowned. I mean, I looked at Andrew and I said, is it too big? He said, bigger. <laughs> you can't go too big on Flash. I'm like, oh, okay. Steven, you had some pretty epic fights between these two episodes. How much were you actually fighting him and how much were you fighting, like, the air? I fought the air a little bit. <laughs> but you kicked the air's ass. I kicked the air's ass, that's right. <laughs> Emily and Danielle, it's not often that you guys get to work with other females in, in Star Labs or the, uh, what are we calling it now, Arrow Cave, the, the foundry. Uh, was, that, was that fun for you guys? It was great for us. We got yeah, to hang out. Such a treat. <laughs> I think for them as characters, it's nice to work with another intelligent woman where they don't have to have any secrets with these superheroes that they're dealing with. Yeah, there's a lot of trust. I mean, they're both protecting these great men, and so they have that in common. And do they both have feelings for these great men? <laughs> So many feelings. <laughs> All the feels. <laughs> I, one of the most fascinating things is that when members of one team in one city go to the other team, this, the tone of that city sort of starts to affect them. And I think um, when Barry, Caitlin, and Cisco go over to Starling City, um, it's very clear to them that they haven't really been taking this as seriously as they could have. And so they sort of start to grapple with the stakes, you know, these are life and death situations. So that's kind of something that affects your growth. Now, do we have uh, some fan questions? Is there anyone lined up over here? Can you give us any information about future guest stars? Do you have any casting updates you can give us? Um, Victor Garber is uh, playing um, Martin Stein, who's the other half of Firestorm. Uh, so that's going to be great. Um, Andy Mientis, who's uh, a big Broadway star and was on Smash, is playing the Pied Piper. I would never have thought I would see Rainbow Raider on uh, screen. What's another obscure villain that you guys would want to bring on? We have a board up uh, in the Flash office of like the, all the villains that he has and you know some of them are, are you know they sound so silly <laughs> and uh, you know I mean Rainbow Raider was one of them and you know Jeff Johns his favorite thing to do in the world is to take old silly characters and rehabilitate them and make them cool. And I think we kind of did that with Rainbow Raider. I mean, you know, if you see his costume in the comics and what he can do, I mean, it's, it's fairly silly. But I think, you know, we, we've gotten pretty adept at taking some of these comic book characters and, and, you know, we usually say arrowifying them, in this case, flashifying them. Steven and Grant, ultimately, if you want to weigh in, who would win, Arrow or Flash? Diggle. Diggle. Diggle would win. Diggle, Diggle. would win. Diggle. Diggle. Diggle would win. <laughs>